I think it's fair to say that last night for Keir Starmer was a bit of a living nightmare. A man who ran for the leadership of the Labour Party promising a war on anti-Semitism found that the very people he'd been trying to reassure were in uprising. There were threats to resign the Labour whip from several Labour MPs, I think, including Labour's only woman uh, Jewish uh, MP, Margaret Hodge. Uh, some Labour peers it was talked of might be resigning the whip in the House of Lords as well. And there was talk that the Jewish Labour movement, an affiliate of the Labour Party for 100 years, uh, might just disaffiliate. So all this uh, horror was happening. And I think on the left, there are strong rumours uh, uh, that they think actually Keir Starmer had been part of peacemaking uh, efforts with Jeremy Corbyn or was, it, was at least encouraging them from the sidelines and basically drew back from all that when he didn't like the look of that reaction. On the left, they're now talking about a witch hunt and on the right, euphoric three weeks ago uh, when they heard of the suspension of Jeremy Corbyn, they tonight are slightly, they're glad what uh, Keir Starmer's done, but they're scratching their head and just wondering whether he's actually started a civil war here or almost by accident and may even have picked a side. This afternoon, the NEC panel reinstated me as a member of the Labour Party. So once again, Islington North has a Labour MP. Or not. His successor has decided Jeremy Corbyn cannot yet rejoin the ranks of Labour MPs. I put a statement out last night, um, so uh, I hope you've seen that. Thank Will you. you be restoring the whip? I put a statement out last night, thank you. But in a new statement a few hours later, Sir Keir Starmer said it had become clear overnight that the Labour Party process that brought Jeremy Corbyn back into the party didn't command the respect of the Jewish community. Nice to see you all this morning. Some Jeremy Corbyn allies said they thought his successor had been scared off a peacemaking gesture by some voices on the right of the party. Thank you very much for coming this morning. If you're going to bubble under pressure after you've made serious decisions, promise to reunite the party, promise to draw a line under things and move forward, then, you know, if he has bubbled, I'm terribly disappointed. I'm worried in case he has been listening to people who wouldn't allow Jeremy Corbyn uh, to be in the same room as him, never mind what. And, and some people will never, ever be happy, by the way, until Jeremy Corbyn and others are banished from the Labour Party. Some on the left insist allies of Keir Starmer had been trying to reach out to Jeremy Corbyn and encourage peacemaking. But last night, Keir Starmer faced threats by several Labour MPs to resign the Labour whip in protest at the readmission of Jeremy Corbyn. There was talk the Jewish Labour movement might disaffiliate from the Labour Party. The JLM and uh, you know, uh, the Jewish MPs like Margaret Hodge, uh, Jewish members of the laws who stayed with the party on the promise that we will improve, on the promise that we will deliver. On Might the have left the party. Uh, I don't know. I, you're, you're telling me that. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, your uh, name was mentioned as well I'm, as one uh, who look, might have said something like that last night. But I think I think it's fair to say. And you're not denying it. I think it's fair to say that JLM, uh, who who believed that they were going to see action, they were going to see the new leader deliver on his first priority promise, as well as in response to the Equality and Human Rights Commission, uh, were. Uh, they would have had more questions over whether they could stay. Jeremy Corbyn's old allies have rallied to his defence. Diane Abbott said Keir Starmer's actions raised serious questions of due process. John McDonnell said this is just plain wrong. Unite General Secretary Len McCluskey called it the continued persecution of Jeremy Corbyn by a leadership capitulating to external pressure. And one of Jeremy Corbyn's sons tweeted, absolute disgrace. You know, Jeremy is hurt, his family's hurt, and rightly so. And this decision today just, you know, adds more pain to the, the already difficult situation. I think he has, uh, has, has handled this as well as humanly possible, given this is not a mess of his making. Uh, the former leader is responsible, personally responsible, for the mess the party became over tackling this problem. There is no need for a civil war here. I certainly don't want a civil war. Three yeah, weeks on, the twists not, of this yeah. saga may be delivering just that. A man who wooed Jeremy Corbyn's support base to win the leadership, now firing up hostility on the left of his party.